Out of the deadly train accident, at least six people are dead. Dozens more injured after a train derails during its inaugural run in Washington state. Train cars also hit several vehicles down on the interstate, Interstate 5 in the town of DuPont when it derailed. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor joins us now in studio with more on this. Alice? Christine and Maurice, officials now searching the wreckage for any other victims. We're told the train was not filled to capacity when it derailed. There are also hazmat crews on scene. As authorities begin the investigation into what what went wrong? Train cars strewn about and dangling. Amidst the debris, cars and trucks that were struck from the falling train. The people that were in all the vehicles, even though when you see the pictures, it's pretty horrific. At this point, nobody in any of the vehicles uh, is a fatal. I just feel a whole bunch of like turning and rocking of the train. And um, I just grabbed onto the chair in front of me for dear life. Officials say 13 train cars jumped the tracks just before 8 this morning. There were 77 passengers on board, five crew members, five motor vehicles involved on the freeway, and two semis. Emergency, emergency. We are on the ground. This is audio of the conductor calling in the derailment. Hey guys, what happened? Uh, we were coming around the corner to take the bridge over I-5 there, uh, right north of Nisqually, and we went on the ground. Okay, are you, um, is everybody okay? I'm still figuring that out. We got cars everywhere and down onto the highway. Amtrak train 501 was making its first run out of a new station in Tacoma, Washington, about 40 miles south of Seattle, as part of a higher speed service operating between Seattle and Portland. Officials say the tracks are newly constructed, and a spokeswoman for the track owner says tests were done before today. Officials, including a team from the National Transportation Safety Board, will now try and piece together what happened exactly and why. We are aware of the fact that this was called an inaugura inaugural run of this, uh, this service, but uh, we want to check and make sure what that exactly means. And that NTSB board member says it is too early to tell whether speed was a factor. Christine. All right, Alice, thank you.